Hi guys, happy Monday. I am going to kind of walk through the um, latte makeup today. I know I did a video last week, but just a little bit more clear with the steps. So step one is like light foundation. So I'm gonna be doing even less than what I would normally do. Um, Cause you want the foundation to be really light coverage. Um, and I'm not gonna put any like on my nose or where I naturally have like some freckles because freckles are an important part of the look. So I'm just gonna kinda add that up here, done, like done my forehead. A little bit on my cheeks because it's a little, like it's not super full coverage but I want the freckles I already have to stick out. So yeah, all those little freckles I have on my nose, they're super light, but they count, right? I am so sorry that I did not do my full coverage Friday last week. It just kind of ended up being like family day, family time, and it just didn't work out. Things happen. Okay, step two, really light concealer. So again, I'm just gonna do kind of like a dot, but like even less product than normal. Just blending that out. I'm also just going to bring this up on my eyelid as like a primer as well. Okay. Looking good so far. Okay, step three, like set those areas. So I'm just gonna kind of really do it lightly by the eyes, just to get that set in place, but not anywhere else, cause I am gonna use a cream bronzer. Also my nose is looking a little red. So I'm just gonna cover that up. Okay. Okay, step four, let's do the brows. So I'm just gonna like fill them in lightly. Just in any like patchy spots. Then use the spoolie. Basically step four for brows, the key is fluffy and bushy. I'm halfway there already naturally because my brows are thick, but now it's just like getting them in place. So I'm just going to use some e.l.f. brow lift to help brush them up again for that like stylized effect. I want them to be pretty like bushy, especially in the front there. Again, this could be achieved even if you're like drawing them in. Just draw them more, you know, feathered than like placed. Kind of like those front ones to be like extra out and extra kind of like wild. I don't know. Then it gets a little too wild for me. It's, it's a game. You just try and play around until you get them looking the best for you. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay. Okay. 
Basically, the next step is bronzer, 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 cream, powder, both. You're just going to like literally put it everywhere um, because you're not even using blush in this look. It's only bronzer, bronzer heavy. Hey guys, for my product today, I am so excited to be trying the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand, the contour one. I got the lightest shade. This is supposed to be like the Charlotte Tilbury dupe. Oh, it's so cute. I've never used the Charlotte Tilbury, so I really don't have a lot to compare it to, but I love that little applicator because then I feel like you can be pretty precise. I'm gonna put a little extra more than I would um, because I'm doing the latte like makeup look today. So I wanna be extra like bronze and contour. -y. Okay. That blends in so easily. I I need a smaller brush, I feel like. I mean, you can definitely see like the color that it adds. Okay, wow, I really like that. Just kind of defining that jawline, bringing it down my neck, but I feel like that is such a nice base. I feel like it's helping my face look so like snatched and it's so easy to like blend in i love that okay definitely better than their putty bronzer i really like that i like the tone it's definitely not orange it's definitely more contour as it says but i think that is so nice i love that yeah Okay, I know everyone has been talking about them. I know I'm late to the party, but you definitely need this. Okay, so I've added one layer of the contour. I'm actually testing out this e.l.f. product, but um, yeah, just gonna layer that on because like I said, it is all about like bronzer and... Okay, I'm liking how that looks. I'm gonna go in with powder also, my W7. Cause I also wanna be bronzed. And the thing about this look is you're even gonna kinda put it higher on your cheek because there's no blush in this look. Which was so weird to me the first time I did it. Like it just feels wrong not putting blush. That's why I basically make, oops my bronzer into my like blush and do not be afraid to pack this on what is this one stray piece of hair doing go back up there please so we're just bringing all the color to the face i promise we're gonna like blend out more but Okay, just gonna go over that, blend that out. Okay, next step is eyes. You're just gonna get yourself a nice neutral palette. I'm just using my Viseart one and you're just gonna start adding those browns. So this is the most pigmented palette um, that I own. So yeah, but these browns are everything. You're just gonna kind of build it up in the outer corner 
You can make yourself a little wing if you'd like. That's my style. But if not, you're just gonna add these browns. I'm just going deeper and deeper as I go. You see how beautifully these blend. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite palettes. I got a little down here, but it's really no worries. It's okay if you get some down there because our whole face is brown and bronzed, so. Okay. Just kind of keep blending that in. Okay. Don't want any harsh lines. Okay, that's looking good for me. And I'm just gonna grab my favorite little eyeliner one, go into the deepest brown. Just do a little baby wing. You do not have to add that if you do not want, but I love to add it. If there's an option to add a wing, I'm taking that option every time. Okay. Just getting any of my fallout, making sure my edges are blended out. That looks great. And then you're just gonna get a gold shimmer. So last time I used this kilowatt highlighter from Fenty and it looked really great. So I'm just gonna do that again. You just add a gold shimmer. You don't have to add as much. If you just wanna make it a little more subtle, you could just do kind of like a pop. But I already did it on this side, so now I gotta match. If you wanted to go more bronzed for this, you can. It's I think it's really not that big of a deal. Just some sort of like gold metallic or metallic-y type color. Then let's add mascara. I'm just super lightly curling. They say like, um, just kind of light mascara, like one coat. I mean, that's one coat to me. You know I could go on doing mascara all day. Okay. I think I have more on one side, so I'm just doing it more on here to even it up. Okay, eyes are looking good. Okay. Okay, the next thing that's important for latte makeup is freckles. So like I said, I have some actually natural fre freckles that I tried to leave out, but I'm just going to add a couple with my brow pencil. I'm honestly just dotting them on, trying to put them where somebody would naturally have more freckles. And then just tapping it in with my finger. So that they're not so like abrasive or like deep brown since that wouldn't like n match my skin tone just gonna add a few more where i want to have a couple more i'm really just trying to blend them in with my actual own natural freckles i don't want them to look like too obvious that it's Amplified, I guess. I don't want to say fully fake. But like, see, I mean, 
I think it looks pretty cute. Okay. The final step for your latte makeup is lips. So you're just gonna get like a nudish lip liner. This is NYX in Nude Pink. Just line your lips. And then you're just gonna add a clear gloss. I don't have one, but I'm just gonna use this like lip balm I have. Cause it kind of gives a glossy finish. My clear glosses in my purse. Cause I use it like every day. But if you have that, use that instead. Okay. So this is like my latte makeup. Like I said, I think the key points to remember are like bigger brows, like a brownish eye with some shimmer in the middle, freckles, a light lip, no blush, and just bronze everywhere. I could probably add some more bronzer to be honest. Okay, so what do we think of this um, latte makeup look? Would you guys try it? Have you tried it? Let me know. But yeah, just wanted to teach you more like step-by-step step, since last time I was like testing it out with you guys.